Hey everybody, happy Thursday. I'm so excited to finally be back and making a new video and sharing a new activity series with you all. So this one has been much requested by many of you for a rainforest adventure activity involving rainforest animals. And it does come with a new felt set. So if you are a person who really enjoys using felt sets, we have a new one that includes all of the jungle animals, but I'm going to be demonstrating the non felt set version with the virtual backgrounds that include the animals because it's easier for me to show. But at the end, I will show what it looks like if you were to use the felt sets. So let's dive in. So how this activity starts is we're going to go into the rainforest and we see a monkey. We're gonna help the monkey find bananas. So this first activity is all about answering yes and no questions. But if you are working on articulation, this would be a good activity also to work on repetitions. So for every banana, we do a sound. And then once we get all five bananas, then we practice our sound or word or phrase five times. So he's got his leaf. And then up here in this branch, we're gonna be deciding whether or not the items that show up are bananas. So yes and no. Is this a banana? Yes, so we take it put it in his leaf. Is this the banana? No, swat it away. Whoosh. How many bananas? Two. So we're gonna put two bananas in. Whoosh. Grapes, mm, those are not bananas. And then we get all the way till we have five bananas and then we can count one, two, three, four, five. Oh no, the bananas fell and the monkey is sad. But we can pick them up and go through that activity again if your kids want to help the monkey. <laughs> so the next activity is we're going to help this leopard mama find her baby. So we have leopard mama. And then this is again working on yes and no questions. So mom is going to tell us whether or not the animal she's seeing is her baby. So is this mama's baby? No, that's a toucan, not a leopard. Is this a leopard baby? No, that's a monkey, not a leopard. And we go through until we've seen all of the animals from the series until she finds her baby. And then my personal favorite is next, which is the toucan and the frog. So toucan and frog are going to be racing to eat some insects. So this is great for insect identification and answering who and what questions. So when we see the bug, so we see a ladybug down there our animals are gonna fight for the ladybug. So who got it? The frog, what's next? The toucan ate the spider. What did the toucan eat? The spider, who ate the spider? The toucan. And we go through these who and what questions throughout this until all of the bugs are in their bellies. <laughs> and then the next activity is practicing fast and slow. So what you're going to see over here is we're going to see a snake scurry quickly fast on the forest floor. So, wow, he was fast. And then we're going to find a slow animal. I'm sure you all can guess what animal that's going to be. It's our sloth and the sloth is going to move very slowly. So I'm clicking through these slides very slowly. Slow, 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 slow. In fact, he gets so, so slow that he falls asleep. And we need to wake him up. Wake up, sloth! And he opens his eyes. And then the last little series is watching our little frog hop across the floor. So he's just gonna. And then at the end of the activity, I just like to go through all of the animals that we did see. So I like to remind our kids we saw a monkey, we saw a leopard, we saw a toucan, we saw a snake, we saw a sloth, and we saw a frog. And we can say goodbye to them. So I just want to briefly show you all what it would look like if I were using felt sets rather than the pre-made virtual backgrounds. And that would just be that these slides don't have the animals in them. And instead, I would be using the felt pieces to interact with the slides. So this allows for a little bit more flexibility, like the monkey can pretend to eat the banana. The monkey can put the banana in his own leaf so he could, you know, grab it and put it in. He can talk to the camera. He can say, you knocked my bananas down. So there's just a little bit more flexible play with the felt pieces, but again, this is totally optional. We've also included a slide that has three different locations that go with all of the felt sets. So if you are somebody who has enjoyed using felt sets and you have the animal felt sets for underwater and for farm and now for jungle, you can 
use your felt sets and help your kids sort where they belong. So where does monkey go? In the jungle, on the farm, or underwater? And then your kids can help you tell where they go. <laughs> And finally, we did make a worksheet bundle that accompanies this activity on the iPad. So if you are in person and you're using the iPad to slide through these slides, we made worksheets that go with every activity. So I want to show you all those in case you're curious about what that looks like. So the first worksheet that accompanies the activity would be the monkey who is determining whether or not items are bananas or they are other food items. So you can either cut these out and paste them or you can cut them and laminate them and do Velcro dots. And then you can just put them either in the yes pile or in the no pile. So that's the first worksheet. The second worksheet is a fast and slow activity. So you have um, a printable of each animal and they can either move fast or slow, quickly or slowly across the vine. And then your kids can help you determine which one they were. So you might have the leopard and they can go really fast. They were fast. And we can talk and make sentences about the leopard was fast, but the sloth was slow. Simple, but a really nice visual to help practice that skill. And then lastly, we have an activity that has the feed the frog or feed the toucan. And what you can do here is put two Velcro dots, one on their mouth and one on their belly. And you can then flip your bugs over so that you can't see what they are. And you can have, you can be one of the characters and your client can be the other character and you can work through picking them up. So what did he eat? A bee and then you can go put the bee on and match. So I really like this type of activity because you can use that one over and over again and make a game out of it. We also created a sorting worksheet activity that is separate from the bundle that goes with the jungle activity just for sorting so you can practice where animals go and there are six different animals from each background and we also made larger backgrounds that go with each animal's Set, so you can practice putting all of the pieces in. So I really hope that you all enjoyed this new background series and I hope you all are doing really well with virtual and hybrid and in-person therapy, whatever you may be. I hope that this helps and that you can use it. And if you do, of course, tag PlaySpark, let us know. We love you guys. Bye.